Uh, has been a long-awaited actor space's dream. We've spoken it, uh, you know, to the universe not once, not twice, but far too many times that one has even lost count. When the day finally announced itself, driving to her house felt like chasing a far-fetched dream, so near yet still far. These are the words of editor Mandi Savundla, who was referring to actor space's exhibition of veteran actor Meritwala in 2019. Actor spaces, together with the Department of Arts and Culture, Culture honored the Lifetime Achiever with a photo exhibition which was directed by Ayanda Setebe and captured by Mlungi Simlugwana. To help us share memories of Metwala, we joined via Zoom by director at Actor Spaces, Ayanda Setebe. Ayanda, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Simpiwe. Good morning to the viewers as well. Now, do take us back, if you can, to how the idea of capturing Me, uh, Mary Twala has come about in 2019 and how long it was, or rather how long was it, in the making before she agreed? Yeah. I mean, firstly, we send our love and our condolences to the Mklong and the Twala family. It must be very tough. We just pray for strength. Uh, I think for us as actor spaces, you know, from the inception of actor spaces, the goal was always to bring respect to the craft, uh, bring respect to, to the actors, but most importantly, how do we start archiving um, our actors, you know, archive them with dignity as well. And that has always been the mission for, for actor spaces. And I think from day one, we always wanted to really capture my Mary Twala be she has inspired so many uh, performers and so many creatives. Um, she is or was an icon, you know, for, for many of us. And I think for us, um, I remember every time we spoke in terms of production, who's next, who are we capturing next, she was always on top of the list. But at the same time, we've always waited for the right time as well. You know, um, we waited for the right idea in terms of how do we go about it, you know, because she is such a giant, you know, so we didn't want to just go to her and just shoot her with a camera. Um, and the day she said yes, I remember the team, We it was like a party in the office. Uh, mm. We couldn't believe that she said yes, because you know that uh, Uma Mary Tola didn't like interviews, she didn't like these photo shoots, she just wanted to. So when she said yes to actor spaces, it was really, really a dream come true. And uh, it became really a beautiful journey for the team. Just being surrounded by her was just an honor for us, you know, yeah. where the photo shoot, the whole exhibition was meant to honor her, but the honor became on us as the team just to be surrounded by the beautiful aura that she carried, um, the teachings that she carried uh, during that whole journey. I think the whole process took us like a month uh, to, put it, to put it together. That whole process was beautiful. Just being welcome in a house, sitting down with her was just an amazing journey. You just described her as uh, a giant in the industry. Some call her a legend, some call her an icon. I mean, there's plenty of adjectives that you could use to describe, you know, the, legend, the legendary creative that she was. So as someone who is in the acting or the creative space, who was Mary Twala to you? I think for us, she became our Goko, you know. Um, she became a Coco way too, you know, but more than anything, I think even through the exhibition, what we wanted to capture, I remember we themed uh, the whole um, process, the whole creative process, the Oracle, you know, because mm -hmm. for us, she became the mother of the creative community. She became the mother of the nation within the art space, you know, um, and if you've been in her presence, you'll know that you just around Coco Ako, you know, mm -hmm. um, she made feel like uh, we were her grandkids you know um, we were nervous I think the first few uh, minutes with her but she was able to just break that wall and make us feel at home so I think for many of you, she's the mother of, of the creative sector. Now do paint a picture of the day you went to her house for this particular shoot uh, what stand out about this day? For me, one thing I'll always remember is how when we got to a house, uh, I've been to a house for a number of times now, but every time I got there, if our appointment was at six, when we got there, that she was up from from 4 a.m., you know, so I think her, she, she was so disciplined, it was so amazing. When we went there for a shoot, 
um and we got it she's we were like five minutes late and she was she was so mad you know but o- o- only mad for like two minutes then afterwards she was cracking jokes but um i think the warmth that 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 mom mary twala carried is something that that i'll carry personally and i know the team as well at actor spaces will carry in their hearts you know um she was warm she was loving and 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 that's the best way i can really really describe her at this moment um you know you have that picture of of this giant but when you get to her you 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 get a different picture in terms of just how welcoming she is how warm she is um it it really she made it feel like it was our home as well so that's i think that's the best picture i can paint around really us experiencing her experiencing her in her own space i mean i went to see her early this year um um because she was a bit unwell and and mm-hmm. i went and she was still cracking her jokes when I got there. Um, I remember we bought a chocolate. She's like, eat this thing. I'm not feeling well when I'm mad, you know? <laughs> so so she, was just, she, was just, she was just amazing, you know? Um, and yeah, and, and we, we are very touched as Actor Spaces. Um, I know the yeah. team is going through the most as well. You know, she created so many memories mm. uh, for us during that period. Yeah, man, it's so hard to believe that uh, she's gone. What do you think is her greatest legacy to the South African creative landscape? I think she's given so much, you know, and and I think um, this goes to the importance of documenting um, our our heroes, documenting our legends, because they leave so much knowledge behind, you know, that that we can tap into, you know. Mm. But uh, I think she leaves us with so much to learn from, you know. She leaves us with so many films that we need to go back and and, and celebrate and 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 draw inspiration from 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 them, you know. But I think she leaves really really an inspired um, um, creative sector. You know, she worked, I mean, last year she did a last film, you know, and she played lead. So I think, I think she leaves, um, she leaves an inspiration more than anything for me and, and for a lot of actors, definitely, I know. All right. Ayanda, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for sharing your reflections of Mary Twala with us this morning. Thank you so much. That was actor Spaces director Ayanda Stebe helping us pay tribute to veteran actor Mary Twala who died yesterday at the age of 80. We'd also love to hear from you what are some of the fondest memories that you may have of uh, Mary Twala as uh, this show, throughout the show, we'll be paying tribute to her.